Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to discuss our recent publication on in-plane heterophase MOS2 structures. Here uh, I will discuss about the atomistic models of the heterophase structures with beta and gamma phase boundaries as well as assess the Schottky barrier nature of those phase boundaries. To start with the introduction, the methodology that we have followed, then the most important part that is the structure optimization and results. Over the past few years, exploration of different two-dimensional layered transition metal dichalcogenides or TMDs as an alternative to the conventional silicon has become enormously popular. Among those, the monolayer MOS2 has emerged as a suitable choice owing to its distinctive optical, mechanical and electronic properties. The realization of sub-10 nanometer transistors with the atomic layer TMDs as a channel may provide many significant advantages such as high on-off current ratio, excellent electrostatic control of the gate, low leakage, etc. However, there are quite a few critical issues such as forming low resistance source and drain contacts, achieving higher effective mobility, ensuring large scale control growth, etc. which need to be addressed for successful implementation of the atomically thin transistors in integrated circuits. In experimental MOS2 channel based transistor, the drain current is always found much lower than expected. The origin of low drive current is mainly attributed to the formation of Schottky barrier at the metal contacts, which suppresses the carrier injection to the channel. Moreover, the unavailability of efficient control doping techniques for such atomically thin materials makes it difficult to realize purely ohmic low resistive metal contacts. Exploration of several metals with different work function did not provide the desired solution. We always ended up forming short key barriers. Several innovative techniques like insertion of graphene and TiO2 etc. have also been investigated to mitigate the short key barrier limited carrier injection. Uh, as I have shown here, mm, this report they actually uh, show that almost 3.3 times improvement in contact resistance and nearly 2.1 times improvement in on resistance. Uh, but considering the large scale fabrication, such a vendor heterostructure may not be the suitable choice. Recently, Capera et al. proposed a radical approach where metallic 1T phases of MOS2 were locally induced on semiconducting 2H phase at the source and drain regions. This resulted in substantial reduction of the contact resistance values. They further observed that the change of metal electrode has limited influence on the transistor performance, suggesting that the properties of phase boundaries dictate carrier injection to the channel. In the study, the first principles based density functional theory DFT calculations are performed using uh, the software package uh, called Atomistics Toolkit or ATK. Density functional theory has been employed in conjunction with the GGAPB. Uh, apart from that, we use OpenMX norm conserving pseudo potentials with uh, pseudo atomic orbitals and the medium basis states having the cutoff radius of basis functions around 7 bow. More precisely, the configuration of AMO and S atoms uh, have been adopted as S3P2D1 uh, with cutoff radius 7 bore and S2P2D1 with cutoff radius uh, 7.04 bore, respectively. The K points in the Monkhorst pack grid are set to 9 cross 9 cross 1 in uh, XYZ direction for calculating the electronic properties of the different unit cells. However, however, for obtaining the phonon dispersion, we opt for the frozen phonon calculation with k points grid of say 3 cross 3 cross 1. And the density mass cutoff is set to 90 hertz for our calculations. The figures show the electronic band structures of the optimized unit cells of monolayer MOS2 for three distinct polytypes, uh, which are 2H, 1T, and 1D dashed. Now, 
the phase transition in MOS2 from 2H to 1P itself is a complicated process which largely depends on the electron dose as well as the thermal environment. The chemical method called lithium intercalation is one of the most extensively practiced uh, processes which increases the density of the electron in d orbital and promotes the phase transition from 2H MOS2 to the metallic uh, 1P MOS2. Uh, however, metastable 1P phase uh, may further relax to a much lower energy state simply by redefining its uh, lattice vectors. This distorted 1P MOS2 is actually the 1T dashed phase of monolayer MOS2 for which uh, the relative energetic stability is greatly improved. Owing to the fact that the 1T dashed phase of monolayer MOS2 replicates nothing but of the distorted 1P phase, here in the study we use 1T dashed and 2H polytypes while modeling the planar heterophase structures. For the monolayer MOS2 with 2H phase, a direct band gap of 1.7 AV has been computed uh, at the K point of the Prilova zone. The 1T MOS2 is metallic as it is evident from the band structure. For the considering the 1T dashed polytype, we find almost negligible band opening near the gamma point. Further, to study the dynamical stability of the 2H, 1T and 1T dashed phases, we employed EFT calculations and obtain phonon dispa dispersion curves. Uh, in order to obtain the phonon dispersion curves using frozen phonon calculations, we have formed the dynamical matrix of the system with a reputation of 9 cross 9 cross 1 uh, in uh, x, y and z directions. Considering the phonon band structures obtained for metallic 1 TMOS2, we clearly see the presence of imaginary or negative frequencies. Existence of negative frequencies in phonon band structure of 1T phase indicates the structural instability of the material. However, for 1T dashed phase, we observe no such uh, existence of imaginary or negative frequencies. As mentioned earlier, for ultra thin nano devices, the scattering regions formed due to the interfaces would rather play the dominant role in determining carrier transport. Lin et al. provide some more insights on this phase boundaries, analyzing the atomic arrangement by uh, ADF STEM images. They observed two different patterns and called them beta and gamma. In fact, they judge the atomic positions of MO and uh, sulfur by comparing the differences in intensities available from the ADF images. However, their study does not include the details of the electronic structures and transport properties of those metallic to semiconducting phase boundaries. This uh, actually motivated us to develop the atomistic models for those interfaces which could uh, then be useful to understand the electronic properties as well as uh, the carrier transport in phase engineered MOS2 flakes. Aligning two large supercells of 2H and 1T dashed polytypes appropriately, we first try to model the beta and gamma phase boundaries. We then fully relax the combined supercells using LBFGS algorithm uh, with the maximum stress and force tolerance values as mentioned here, which considers all the possible translation, translational and rotational movements to construct the final optimized geometries. In this figure, we see that the geometry optimized composite supercells having dimensions uh, say around uh, 1 nanometer along width and uh, 9 nanometer along the length and finally uh, this form the two distinct types of phase boundaries at the interface uh, interfacing regions of uh, 2H and 1T dashed planes. If we follow the atomic patterns at the phase boundaries as illustrated by the highlighted atoms, we will find that our atomistic uh, models of uh, the metallic to semiconducting heterophase MOS2 structures are in good agreement with the experimental observations. The geometry optimized combined supercells are then used to calculate the electronic structures. To understand the electronic properties of the charge carrier transport at the phase boundaries, we define three different regions across the YZ plane. One situating exactly at the phase boundary marked as INTAR and 
the other two are deep inside the 2H and 1T dashed regions labeled as 2HR and 1T dashed R respectively. It is evident uh, from the projected uh, density of states plots that the DOS of uh, interfacing, uh, DOS of the interfacing regions resemble more with the 1T dashed uh, regions regardless of the type of the phase boundary. Now to investigate the charge carrier transfer through beta and gamma phase boundaries, we have converted the optimized heterostructures uh, into two port device structures. The length of the semi-infinite electrodes are taken as 5.75 angstrom and 5.53 angstrom uh, formed extending the 1T and uh, 2H ends respectively. In order to calculate the transmission along the channel of the two port devices, we use energy of formalism along with the DFT calculation. For solving the Poisson's equation, we use Dirichlet boundary condition in the transport direction, that is the Z direction, and periodic boundary condition uh, in other two directions, which are X and Y. Besides, uh, we select the lower bound and the circle points of the control integral as 3 hertz tree and 6 tree respectively. Uh, the k points in the Monk horseback grid are set to 1 uh, cross 9 cross 99 in x, y and z directions. Looking at the, uh, looking into the energy position resolved local density of states diagrams, we find there are sharp changes in uh, local density of states or LDOS which uh, take place exactly around the phase boundaries and abruptly isolates the metallic phase from the semiconducting phase. Uh, we also find the Schottky barrier heights is Schottky barrier height is is uh, different for these two phase boundaries. For beta device we find that the barrier heights for both types of charge carriers are almost same, which is around 0 0.0.8 eV, whereas the phase boundary of the gamma device delineates a classical p-type Schottky barrier of 0 0.68 eV. For the purpose of finding transmission along the channel uh, of uh, the two port devices, we employ NGF uh, DFT combination, as I have mentioned earlier. Uh, the upspin components are shown here, upspin component of the transmission spectra. Uh, those are obtained at zero bias uh, for both the devices, beta and gamma. That means the two port devices with the channel uh, having beta interface in one case and the gamma interface, uh, gamma interfacing region in the other case. Considering the energy range of say 0 to 5 volt, we find the transmission is somewhat larger in gamma device. However, uh, for all near equilibrium electrical um, calculations, all uh, we need uh, to consider uh, or, or the states which are near to the Fermi label are uh, important. And if we consider in that way, then we may find that the gamma device uh, may not be that conducive uh, to, uh, to the transport of, say, uh, electron charge carrier. In summary, we have developed atomistic uh, models uh, for the planar heterophase structures of monolayer MOS2 having two disparate phase transition regions, beta and gamma, which are in good agreement with the experimental results. The most interesting aspects of these heterophase structures are the 1T dashed extensions, which will help to achieve excellent impedance matching with the various metal contacts while keeping the semiconducting properties of the 2H region unaltered. Thank you.